Hi, I'm Kitty and you're watching the Dole and Toy Repairs YouTube channel. Welcome. Now in a, a number of my videos I've mentioned the Slipknot and so I thought it was about time I did a video specifically on just that. Slipknots are very important. They can make a huge difference in the way that limbs are being attached to toys and the staying power of that repair when you do a restream. For instance, arms to torsos, heads to bodies. The slip knot enables you to bring those limbs in at the perfect amount of tension that you want. It also makes it very much easier when you're working on a pedigree walking doll. One of the problems with pedigree walking dolls is attaching the head to the platform of the top of the neck. You don't have a lot of space to work with. It's hard to get tools up under the head as you're bringing that elastic in tight. So it can be hard to secure the elastic and get that tension just right. However, with a slip knot, it's so much easier. So welcome, please watch, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you had, have any questions, or if you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Thank you. So rather than use the doll to show you how to do this, I'm actually going to use a pair of scissors because I'm going to use the handle. And that way I can show you more clearly the whole process of doing a slip knot. This is a four millimeter tubular elastic that I'm using. For the slightly smaller dolls, you'd use three millimeter and so on. So pretend that's part of a doll, perhaps the hook that, that attaches the leg to the body. So put one end of the elastic around the hook and then for the slip knot, with this side you go over, under and back up. Do you see that? over, under, and back up through. Pull it in tight. You're basically creating a knot with one side of the tubular elastic around the other side of the tubular elastic. So you pull that in tight, pull it in nice and tight, so that as you draw in closer and closer, the limb to the body, that knot will grip that piece of elastic that you're pulling on. So I pull, see? There we go. I always recommend double knotting once you have got it in place. That just makes extra sure that nothing's going to move. And then this is the only time I use super glue on my repairs. And I've said before in one of my other videos, be very careful with super glue. Some of the antique wigs will actually start to um, burn when in contact with super glue. Also, I don't trust the lasting power of super glue. Uh, but it is very, very handy for this. Very good. That is just a little drop on the knot. Now when you do this, you'll have a doll here. Don't ever get that on your doll because if you do, even if you wipe it off straight away, you are going to end up with a mark. Great for tubular elastic knots, but don't get it on your doll. And that, and then what you do is you cut it off and you then have a very, very good, very super strong knot that no way is that going to come undone. I hope you find that very, very useful. Thank you for watching. <laughs>